Hello coin enthusiasts out there, it is Idax Collects, and today what I have in front of me is Penny Box number 11 here on YouTube. Pennies to look out for, the Indian Head Penny, minted between 1859 to 1909, Wheat Pennies minted between 1909 to 1958, and any 2009 pennies to check for copper, any proofs, anything for the books. If you haven't seen my last Penny Box video, I'll put a link right up here, so you go ahead and watch that one before you watch this one. Now let's get on to opening this box up and checking those enders. Testing out my new mic here. Let me know what you guys think as I open this box up. I see a 2009 right off the bat here. It's going to be the presidency 2009. Let me go ahead and check the rest of these enders real quick. And I'll be right back. Nothing much here besides these two 2009 enders right here. And I will have a wheat penny ender as well. In roll number 18. A wheat penny ender. Very nice. And besides those three, that's it. Everything else is pretty standard. So let's go ahead and get started with these first five rolls with you guys right away. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so as I'm opening these rolls up, I just want to say thank you guys for the continued support. I really do appreciate it, and I want to keep improving every single time I upload a video. So me with this mic here, I hope this is a big step for my channel. I really do like to be as clean as possible for you guys. We got a wee penny right here. Let's take a look together. All right, let's take a look at the obverse and see what year and mint this came from. It's gonna be a 1957, minted in Denver. And it has the filled in B. Look at Liberty. It looks like it's literally filled in. That is actually an error. Well, that's a very nice start. Let's keep on going and see what else I can find in this roll. Alright, a really good start to this box here. A filled in B wheat penny and plus 11 more copper pennies, making it 12 copper pennies in total. So let's keep on going and see if I can find any more copper pennies in these next four rolls. Or if I can find any more wheat pennies. So the main reason why I actually weigh the rolls for you guys is because I just want to demonstrate how each coin roll weighs differently than the other. It's mostly for the pennies because there's copper inside. For reference, a copper penny weighs about 3.1 grams and a zinc penny weighs about 2.5 to 2.6 grams. So you see a lot more copper than like, let's say silver for dimes, quarters, and half dollars. So. Most of the time, those denominations weigh the same, but for the pennies, it's like it could be 129 grams or 138 grams. And I do keep each copper penny that I find in circulation. I do hoard copper pennies. I do. I'm one of those people. You don't have to do that, but I plan on doing it just because I've done enough penny boxes as it is. I might as well just keep them at this point. Now let's keep on going with these rolls. All right, here's the five roll recap. Let me go over the finds real quick. On a 1957, minted in Denver, in the first roll of the box. And I managed to find two 
of the 2009 pennies right here. One being the presidency and one being the formative years. And I managed to find a total of 65 copper pennies, including that wee penny. So that's not too bad. This one's probably my best looking copper penny of the bunch. This 1962 Denver. So I'll set that to the side and the rest of these copper pennies, I'm just gonna throw them right into the copper box. Now that this recap's done, I'm gonna go ahead and start opening up the next 20 rolls of the box. And once I'm done with that, I'll do a first half box recap, showing you guys all the finds of that half. And if I find anything beforehand, I'll bring the camera back and I'll show you guys the find and what roll I found that specific coin in. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Currently on roll number eight, and I found my first foreign penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. It's gonna to be a Canadian penny. Let's take a look at what year this was minted in. It's gonna be from the year 1987. Very nice. Let's see what else is out there. Next roll, roll number nine. I found my second wee penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. I had to check this one twice because, man, this wheat penny looks awful. Look at this. This looks terrible. It's definitely not going to be a steel wheat penny. But let's go ahead and flip this over and see if we can see the year on this. I think this is going to be a 1945 minted in Philadelphia. Very hard to tell, but let's keep on moving. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 11, and I found my second foreign penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. It's going to be a 1986 Canadian penny right here. Very nice. Let's see what else is out there. Next roll, roll number 12. I found my third wheat penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. All right, this one looks promising. We might have an old wheat penny. Let's take a look and see what year and mint this came from. Yeah, buddy. That's what you love to see right there. 1925, minted in Philadelphia. This will definitely be an addition to my book. What a nice find this is. Let's see what else is out there. Next roll, roll number 13, and I found my third foreign penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. It's going to be a Canadian penny from the year 2006. Very nice. I just wanted to pause this for a sec because I didn't notice that there was a Royal Canadian Mint logo below the Queen Elizabeth bust. So I just wanted to point that out. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 18, and I found my fourth wheat penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. Now this was the ender from the bottom side. Let's take a look and see what the obverse has to offer here. It's going to be a 1953 minted in Philadelphia. Very nice. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 21, and I found my fifth wheat penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. Let's take a look and see what year and mint this wheat penny came from. It's gonna be a 1944 minted in Denver. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 24, and I found my sixth wheat penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. Here we have a better looking 1945 than the previous one this time, minted in Philadelphia. Let's see what else is out there. Just finished up the first half of this box. Let's go ahead and do a first half box recap right now. So set this aside and bring on over the finds. All right, here are all my finds of the first half. Let's go ahead and go over them real quick. I have one wee penny here from the year 1925, minted in Philadelphia. I have a total of three wheat pennies from the 1940s, two wheat pennies from the 1950s, three Canadian pennies, and seven 2009 pennies. And as far as the 2009s go, 
I found a total of three of the presidency designs, two of the professional life designs, and two of the formative year designs. And my one highlight coin of the half is going to be this one right here. This 1925 Lincoln Penny minted in Philadelphia. What a beauty. And these are my finds of the first half. So not a bad start at all. I had tons of great finds in this first half so far. I cannot wait to get into the next half of this box. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start opening up the next 25 rolls of the box. And once I'm done with that, I'll do a second half box recap. Show you guys all the finds of the half. And if I find anything beforehand, I'll bring the camera back and I'll show you guys what roll I'm on and what the find is. So with that being said, let's get right into it. We're going on roll number 30 and I found my seventh wee penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. It's time to find out what is the year and mint of this wee penny here. Let's find out. It's going to be a 1951 Minton in Denver. I'll take it. Let's see what else is up there. Currently on roll number 36, and I found my fourth foreign penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. It's going to be a Canadian penny from the year 1981 with Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse. Very nice find right here. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 43, and I found my eighth wheat penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. It's gonna be a 1944, minted in Philadelphia. Very common wheat penny to find in circulation. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 44, and I found my ninth wheat penny of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at this together. All right, let's take a look at the obverse real quick. It's gonna be a 1955 minted in Denver. Very nice find right here. Let's see what else is out there. Currently on roll number 50, the final roll of this box, and I have found my fifth foreign penny of the box and the 10th wheat penny of the box as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at these together. Here's the first one. It's gonna be a 1979 Canadian penny right here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the wheat penny. Wheat penny number 10. Let's see if it's a good one. It's gonna be a 1941 minted in Philadelphia. That's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this roll up. And once I'm done with that, I'll start the second half box recap in just a bit. Just finished up penny box number 11. Let's go ahead and do a second half box recap right now. So let's set this aside and bring on over the finds. All right, here are my finds of the second half. Let's go ahead and go over them real quick. Found a total of two wheat pennies from the 1940s, two wheat pennies from the 1950s, two Canadian pennies, and three 2009 pennies. And I found one presidency design, one professional life design, and one formative years design. And that's it. Nothing else too crazy here. If I had to pick a highlight coin, it's gonna have to be this one. This Canadian penny from the year 1979. And these are my finds of the second half. And now it's time to do a full box recap, showing you guys all the finds of the box. So let me go ahead and get all these pennies organized and I'll be right back. All right, so I've been going through penny box number 11. These are all my finds of the box. Let's go ahead and go over them real quick. First one up here is gonna be a 1925 Philadelphia Lincoln Penny. Then I found a total of five wheat pennies from the 1940s, four wheat pennies from the 1950s, five Canadian pennies, and a total of 10 2009 pennies. So overall, it was actually not a terrible box. That 1925 Lincoln Penny was the star of the show this time around. So now let's go ahead and start weighing all the 2009s to see if any of them are composed of copper. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so none of the 2009s 
Parker Pulls of Copper. So let's go ahead and throw them into my other zinc pennies. I'm gonna take these five here, these five Canadian pennies, and put them into my Ziploc bag real quick, and I'll be right back. And now I'm left with the wheat pennies. Let's go ahead and start bringing out this book here first. Wigan Sense, collection 1941 to 1974, number two. Let's go ahead and open this book now and show you guys what I have so far in this book. All right. Still missing a few from this page, quite a bit from this page, and this page is completely done. So let me go ahead and go through my pennies to see if there's any additions or upgrades to this book. All right, so after going through all my wheat pennies, I'm only gonna have two to upgrade. This 1944 Denver and this 1945 Philadelphia. So let's go ahead and get that started. Starting with a 1944 Denver. Let's go ahead and replace this one with this one. That's gonna be upgrade number one. And upgrade number two is gonna be this 1945 Vinton in Philadelphia. So let's go ahead and replace this one with this one. And that's upgrade number two. And now after going through penny box number 11, this is what my Lincoln Penny collection book number two looks like right now. So unfortunately I did not add any pennies this time around, which is okay, but I still have that 1925 Philadelphia penny right there. So let's go ahead and close this book now. Now it's time to bring out this book right here. Lincoln Sense Collection 1909 to 1940, number one. All right, here's what this one looks like so far. So far I have nine pennies in this book. We're gonna have our 10th penny right here. This 1925 Philadelphia is gonna go right into my book here. So let's go ahead and fill it in. And that's gonna be addition number one. Now after going through penny box number 11, this is what my Lincoln Penny collection number one book looks like right now. Love having an addition to this book especially for these pennies being so hard to find in circulation nowadays. The journey still goes on, guys. The journey still goes on. And now, let's go ahead and close this book now. And now, it's time to go ahead and check these pennies here for errors. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. And if I find any errors, then I'll show you which coin has that specific error. If I don't find any errors, I'll go ahead and start concluding the video right now. So if you guys like this video, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you want and subscribe if you want as well for more coin roll hunting and card box unboxing content every Wednesday and Sunday. I post my videos in the morning, so always make sure that if you turn on the notifications, you will know exactly when I post the video. Hope you guys liked this box as much as I did. It was a lot of fun. That's pretty much all I got for this video. Now with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting everyone, and have a good one. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to check out my other video, click on the bottom left of the screen.